Primly precise hedges were prankishly preventing Kutaro's progression. Of course, Kutaro had scrupled to come pre-equipped with the proper boomers. Really, I hope you're happy with yourself. I went through all that trouble to hide myself, but what's the point exactly? If you're going to march into my garden and mercilessly slip away at my disguise, I might as well be wearing a lampshade. I mean, I'm probably itch less. Not that you care. Uh, show a little gratitude? Kataro just, like, saved you. Do you have any idea who he is? Lost soul, rightful bearer of Calibrus, hero of the moon. Yes, yes, but it is very clear to the naked eye. But, you see, that's why I'm getting pernickety. You're being far too reckless. You probably ride your bicycle at night without a helmet. And do you really expect to defeat the moon bear king like that, really? But never mind, what's done is done. Milk spilt, not crying, moving on. Corrective measures can be taken. Proverbial mock for the proverbial dairy disaster, yes. Now, introductions. The names at Galahad Grid Mulberry, times are wasting. Goddess appointed Warden of the Land of Time, Clock Tower slash Watchman slash General Manager of what we call Dream Time, etc. ad infinitum. I know, lots of information to digest, probably didn't catch it. Just call me GMT. It's a pun. Clever, you see. Yeah, this is going right over your head, isn't it? Your mothers didn't read to you much poor things. Forget it then. You can call me Mr. Pink. Uh, but uh, Mr. Pink? Okay, so, like, why were you hiding in the bush again? Ah, must we go over every detail? Crops ticking, sand trickling out of the hourglass, come on now! Ah, fine, here we go. Class is in session. Have a seat, or stand, or hover, whatever. Basically, this all started with dreams. The goddess, because she's rather smart, decided that there should be a certain parity, that means equality, in how we interact with children in their dreams, which of course led to the construction of the clock tower built by a watchmaker by the name of... For crying out loud! Can you just give us the abridged version? Ugh, you talk faster than most sane people think, and we've got a lot to do. Shameful, simply lamentable, the attitude of our young people today, shrugging aside the weighty implications of their history and heritage, demanding instant gratification, reading spoilers of movies they haven't yet seen, dreadful this kind of rapid culture death, just give the moon bear king the edge, you know? No, us dying of boredom will give him the edge. Come on, don't tell me the great Mr. Pink doesn't know how to be concise. Ugh, <sighs> oh, get with the times! You're a bird. Don't you know how to tweet? 140 characters or less. Go. That clock controls when children dream. Stop. Only I can operate it in the goddess's absence. Stop. I hid from at MBK to keep him from using it for evil. Stop. 140. Well done. So, the Moon Bear King is after your clock. Wait, what does he want with a clock? Can't he buy a watch? I have to explain that too? All right. 20 words or less. <sighs> he wants to permanently stop with the clock hands at midnight, but he needs me to do it. Right, that does sound bad. What happens if the hands stop at midnight? Dream time will be frozen at the darkest hour, never to flow again. In short... Yes, please. <laughs> oh, no! Mr. Pink! Ah, uh, Harry! If the Moon Bear King uses me to stop that clock, we're all... We're all... And for once, Mr. Pink was at a loss for words. The last guardian of the clock tower was in Rooster's clutches.